Now, the first thing that I want to discuss is the color theory. And the color theory is the art and science of creating the right palette for your website. Now, let's take a little example that will demonstrate the color theory better. Now, let's say you add a logo where you have flowers which are brown, paint ball which is pink. It looks all weird and very inconsistent. And take a look at the actual logo. Like what are you thinking when you see this color palette on the words? The color of the flowers looks like a bit dirt. I am not sure who the target audience is, but if we flip the color palette, it suddenly all looks, it's meant to be like this. It looks consistent with the actual message. So when we are picking colors, you have to be aware of the mood of your color palette. Just keep note that the predominant color in your design really tells a story and it conveys a message to the user. In color matching, there is something called mood, which most designers do use. But as a beginner, I prefer you using the mood. For example, red conveys love, energy, intensity, which is why you see a lot of cars advert which have a red car on the red background. That is because they are trying to tell you, hello, buy this car, and you feel energetic and intensity of this car. Yellow is just all about joy, intellect, attention grabbing, and it's almost impossible to look at something that is very yellow. For example, many years back, this article is done a pro because it has this lady in a yellow bikini and it says are you beach body ready and a lot of people got really upset and they raved about it why is it so causing so much great anger and attention and i think the reason is because it's actually bright yellow it's impossible to ignore the adverts when you come across it so when you are creating a logo or when you are creating some sort of headline yellow is a great choice but when creating something that's designed to be looked at for a long period of time the yellow can be too attention grabbing it might actually hurt your user's eyes now the next color that we're going to talk about is green which is all about freshness growth safety and that's why you see a lot of groceries companies like HelloFresh or Amazon Groceries use this color as their predominant color palette because it's trying to tell you, hey, look, this thing is edible. This is what we are selling and come purchase. And if you have a company that has anything to do with food, this is usually a safe bet to go with. Now, blue is about stability trust and serenity and you see a lot of companies which need to convey that hey we are really trustworthy use this color for example look at all the financial companies look at companies like paypal or the cryptocurrency company like coinbase they all choose this color because they want you to know that they are not going to run away with your money in fact there was a really interesting psychology study where they compared interviews wearing different colored shirts now the final color is purple and it's meant to signify royalty wealth femininity and strangely enough i have come across a number of pd loans companies which use this color palette especially ones which targets at women so the important thing to think about is that you are making a conscious decision when you are choosing a color palette it's not just whichever color you just like or your favorite color but it's actually what message i am trying to convey to the user and then picking an appropriate color. Now, usually you are not just going to be using a single color for your design. 
you are probably going to be using two or three so at some point you have to think about which different colors to combine and this is probably the most scientific part of color theory now very often designers will rely on scientific ways of combining colors for example taking two colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel and this way you create what is called an anagodous color palette and this design look incredibly harmonious and they really work well together so this color palette can be really good for things like navigation bars and the body of your website or things like a logo and its background now it is not so good at though it's standing out if you really want your design to pop you are better off taking two colors from opposite sides or opposite end of the color wheel creating what's called a complementary color or a clashing palette now this complementary color palette really takes and creates that pop that you need and it really brings out each of the colors so the next time you go to a supermarket i want you to take a look at the meat asset and see if they have used this complementary color palette to make things pop so one of the things that you often see is they will take those fake plastic bits of greeny like fake grass or fake bushes and they will put it in between the meats and because the green and the red are complementary colors it makes the red meat pop out a lot more and gives you this idea of freshness even if it's a little bit past the the best date but what you shouldn't do with clashing colors or complementary colors is to try to style text and text background with it because it actually looks very very jarring and you will feel your eyes sort of getting a little bit fuzzy looking at this particular combination so don't do this when it concerns text instead keep it to things like logo or icons or things that you really really want to stand out from each other now there's a lot of other ways that you can combine colors like drawing an equilateral triangle to create a triadic color palette or drawing a perfect square now if you want to you can head over to a website called adobe color which lets you mess around with all of these different colors combinations so select a triadic color palette or a square color palette and then drag it around the color wheel so that you can get different combinations of colors and once you come across a palette that fits the mood of your project then you can pick the x code and just put them straight into your website now if all of that sounds like it was a little bit too much work then i got you covered you can also use a website called colorunt.co this is a website where professional designers have curated some of their favorite color palettes and you can nab the x codes straight off the website so take a look at this odd popular section of this website and use it to guide the pilot scheme for your next project now when you create a website that has a beautiful consistent color scheme like the one for the label you got you can see how much it makes the design stand out and it becomes really colorful and really playful and you can convey different messages using your choice of colors and your color scheme so think about your color choice and your color palette the next time you design your website to make sure that it is consistent with what your brand is about and what your brand is about and it conveys the message you want to convey to get more get 
and download the next video subscribe like share and comment